At 530, a highly a teenager charged with murdering his own mother was back in court today as the judge gets ready to make a critical decision. Local 10's Alex Finney is live to explain what happened in court. Alex. And so, Louie and Chrissy, the question is whether or not Derek Rosa will remain at the in jail in terms of an adult jail at this point or whether he will be going to a juvenile detention center. Now, it is worth noting here that we did leave off today kind of still waiting to see exactly what happens here. While in court Tuesday, the judge did wrap things up and said that hopefully we should have a ruling on Tuesday as to whether or not 13 year old Derek Rosa will remain at the Metro West Detention Center or be transferred back to juvenile detention. Now we did hear plenty of witness testimony today from Corporal Siren Wims. As a matter of fact, he had some time there uh, giving his testimony. Miami Dade Corrections Officer who works in the safety management unit over at Metro West. He went through the protective custody procedures for the 13 year old as there was, of course, a lot of reference to this being a high profile case due to the extensive media coverage. We also heard about Rosa's day to day routine. We also heard this in court as well. Right now at Metro West, there are 34 juveniles being held. Rosa is the only 13 year old. Every other juvenile there is between 16 and 17 years old, and he's been in jail for 37 days. So, of course, that was a main focus today. Now, a little bit of backstory here. Rosa is accused of killing his mother, Irina Garcia, as she slept next to his 14 day old half sister back on October 12th. Police say that he called 911 just after 1130 that night night to say he had killed his mother. He has pleaded not guilty. Here's a little bit more of what we heard in court. It's not comparison. Which place would you rather be? It's a question of whether you've raised sufficient facts to show that the circumstances of his detention are violating his constitutional rights. And so here is where things left off tonight. If by chance the defense has no more evidence to present, we will expect a ruling to come down on Tuesday. Now, if by chance more evidence may come to light and may be presented, we will I'll be back here on Thursday, which is when we will expect a decision right now. It's really just waiting to see as we are still seeing exactly what will be happening with Derek Rosa. We do know that he's set to be going to trial in February. For now, this is the very latest live in Miami. Alex Finney, Local 10 News. This is just a tragic story. I thank you, Alex.